for the people of God to enter. Step out of the nest, spread your wings and soar, surrender. Fall to Jesus, fall fully in love. Concise knowledge. Everything. Bring glory to your name. Jesus. Thank you for the anointing to teach and to preach. Yes, Jesus. The grace to understand and comprehend. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So that at the end of the day, Amen. your name alone will be glorified. Jesus. Name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for illumination. Thank you, Thank you for light. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Glory be to God. Okay. God bless you, Juba. Thank you so much. Please greet your neighbor warmly. Tell them we are happy to see them. Shake their hands. Look for something nice they are wearing. And commend it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay, we just guess right into the world. You know, um, my journey as a Christian has been has been like this. You know, not backsliding from no, no. That's I don't have problem of backsliding. There, I had problem of knowledge and stability. I had serious problem because I, yeah, Christianity is not um, it's not brilliance. That you are just brilliant and you just think that this is the way you think it ought to be. In fact, that your thought that you think the way it ought to be becomes a stumbling block for you. So, until we are open to the instruction of the Spirit, guided and taught by the Spirit, that's when Christianity becomes easy. Yeah. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. It says, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, why is it that Christianity is not enjoyable for a lot of people? That means what they have accepted or what they have embraced is not real Christianity. Because the burden is not easy. And their yoke is not light. They are not happy. You can see that it's like something is weighing them down. So, you, I mean, believe me, whether, you know, it's good to be truthful. We used to be, you used to be jealous of unbelievers. Let me tell you something. If you are sitting here now, and you are jealous of an unbeliever, you're jealous of your unbeliever friends, you like the way, you like the way their life is bubbling. You have not known New Testament. I'm telling you, if you are seated here this morning, an unbeliever, they shock you, they, they, they are alive. Just say, wow, I, 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 wow, I wish these people, I wish I, I wish I was like, you know, <laughs> I, I wish I had this kind of life. You know, no, 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 you have not embraced New Testament. When you really embrace New Testament, I'm telling you, every day you'll be happy. Every day you go, they celebrate you. Mama and Baba, are you here? Every day you have a celebrate. I'm telling you, glory be to God. So that's why epignosis comes into being. In church, we, we teach exhortation, we encourage people, we share what we build faith. But here, we will, be, we will go step by step until you understand Christianity and you understand what you have embraced Hallelujah. and what you have believed. Praise and you can give a reason for your faith. Praise. If somebody says, why? Yeah, yeah, you, know, you will be able to answer them. Yes. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. So last week we started our epignosis and uh, we did the background. What we need to gain, background wisdom about the book of Hebrew. So the series we are taking right now is taught, it's called 14 Lessons for the Book of Hebrew. And today we are doing lesson one. And the title of lesson one is the superiority of Christ. The superiority of what? Of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is lesson one. Last, last, last week was not any lesson, though. It was background lesson. <laughs> so today we are learning about what? The superiority of Christ. I wish I could compel all teenagers to attend. Because you know they are about to enter into a world 
university where ideas be colliding their head, where they be thrown into philosophies of men. You, you must be able to be able to know what you have. Glory be to God forever, man. Yeah. Okay, please, does anybody have, I will return your money. Does anybody have dollar with you, $20? I forgot. Dollar at home, I should have brought with dollar. Anybody has dollar? Nobody has dollar. I, I, why are you broke? <laughs> go on, somebody should go and look for dollar for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will come to that. Hallelujah. I don't have time today. Let's just go. The severity of Christ. I'm, well, I'm not to say that nobody puts hundred dollar down and you pick hundred naira. It is insanity and it's madness. They put hundred dollar down. You say, "Wow, I am led by the Spirit," and you pick hundred dollar. No, you know, that or you don't pray about it. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. That is when, when you understand Christ, the superiority of Christ, you don't pick anything else. Yeah. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. I told you last week that the theme of the, new, of, 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 of the book of Hebrew is that word better. Better. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 4. Quickly. Let's just rush to it. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 4. Hebrew 1 4. Let's be, let's be rushing. Please, please be, be showing, be showing, be showing. Okay. How you become what? Mm. Talk about Jesus Christ. He has become so much better than what? That. You see that word, word there? Better. Hallelujah. Go to Hebrew chapter 7 verse 7. So the word better appeared 12 times in the book of Hebrew. Higher in quality, superior in every way. Better. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what it says. Now beyond what? All oh. contradiction. The lesser is blessed by what? You see the word better again. Go to verse 19 of the same place. Go to verse 19. It, what we are dealing with is better. New Testament is better. Everything is better. Our Savior is better. The power of God is better. The, everything here is better. What was what, the For the law made nothing what? Perfect. On the other hand, there is what? The bringing of what? Of a better. Bible calls the New Testament what? A better hope. Hallelujah. Go to verse 22. Verse 22. Verse 22. Who is there? Verse 22. What, what? By so much more, Jesus has become what? A surety of what? Better God. And the New Testament is what? Better. Hallelujah. Better. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to chapter 8, verse 6. Chapter 8, verse 6. Chapter 8, verse 6. Go there. Go there. But now he has obtained what? A more excellent ministry. Let's talk about Jesus. He as much as he is also what? A mediator what? Of a better covenant. Which is established on what? On better. Better covenant. Better promises. Better. So if you are going to one celestial church and they are taking you to go and be uh, bathing by the roadside and be uh, put, putting sugar cane by water, you have abandoned better. You are gone for worse. Yes, yes, sir. Better. Better covenant. Better. Hallelujah. If you go to a church where they are calling you the name of angels, you have missed it. I be, I have attended, that's why I say my journey through Christianity has been you don't have my journey I was a member of Kerubu we wish to go to church we say holy Yure, Sokale, holy Michael holy, and all of our songs are, are based around angels Michael Balogu Michael about Michael he's the Balogu of Christianity we, 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 what, what a stupid are you hearing me so I have been, I have been all those places. Holy Gabriel, holy Uriel, holy something. Wait, no, better covenant, better promises. Hallelujah. Hebrew chapter ten, verse four. Hebrew ten, verse four. Are you uh, thirty-four? Sorry, I said four. Thirty-four. I will come to this one. Thirty-four. What did he say? Verse thirty-four. For you had compassion on me in my chains. Well, look at what. And joyfully what accepted the plumbing of your goods. This, this is this is also a pattern. Which which was it, which Christian was in chains? Apart from Paul. Accepted the plumbing of your goods. Knowing what that you have what a better and enduring possession for yourself. Where he says what we have here and in heaven is better and enduring possession. Your car will grow old. Are you hearing me? 
So it's still fading on this side. Don't join court. Are you hearing me? Don't join court. That's what you are looking for. It will fade away. Bible says, there we have what? A better possession. An enduring possession. That will last. Don't join court too. If you buy that bench, it will fade. If you buy that house, you become old. You are an architect. You are an architect. Look, go and compare the design in those days. No, go, no, no it's, please be careful. You know, there's the, 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 there was this house that, um, uh, that Ebenezer Abbey sang about. About um, one guy that built one house. If you, I went to the house in Ekoyi one day I went to collect my visa. If you see the house now, if they dash you, you will just say thank you. <laughs> it is nothing, it has, the architecture is old. Yeah. It's nothing enduring. Yeah. Are you hearing me? You will have something better. Glory be to God forevermore. A superior covenant. Somebody gave me a dollar. God, I will return it. Thank you. I pray we get there. Hallelujah. Okay. You know, when we say we have a superior, when we say we are talking about superiority of Christ, we show you the general better, or general betterment. Nigerians, <laughs> we really like to speak our English. You know, when we say Christ is superior, superior to what? Please, today is part one, no? superiority of Christ, part one. Mm, we cannot be, no, no, it's part one. We cannot part any, we cannot finish. If I that part one, I can call it part one A. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. When we say Jesus is superior, superior, somebody cannot come around and say I am superior. To who? In comparison to thank you, go. In comparison to who? To what? Hallelujah. Amen. Let me, I want to give you, I, I, I wanted to give you 12 things that Christ is superior to. But because of time, honestly, <laughs> let, we say we are here. Time is going. <laughs> Let, 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 me, let me give you seven today. Seven. Hallelujah. And then next week we will go to why he's superior. Mm, why? Glory be to God forever. If you say you are superior, you must be able to prove it. Why? So what is he superior to? What entities? And the reason why Paul brought this thing out in the book of Hebrew is not to say these entities are bad. It's not to even accuse them. He just said they are good. But we have a better one. There is nothing wrong with 100 naira note. It's good. But what? 1,000 naira is better. There is nothing wrong with 200 naira note. But $20 is what? It's better. It's just better. Glory be to God forevermore. There is nothing wrong with Corolla. But Benz 500 is better. Thank you, Pastor. It's better. That's how my, when, when I say 500 Benz, Pastor DJ say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody <laughs> called me, one of my, they say, hey, that's your pastor that likes car. I say, I know the one you are talking about. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, the glory be to God forever more. Yeah. Better. Number one thing that Christ is better than, or, or number one entity. Number one, is better than angels. We just read it. Those of you, you know, speak to your angel. Uh, uh, pray to your angel. Ask your angel. You are asking an inferior person. I thought if I want to get a job, I'll speak to MD. To MD. Why do you want to speak to the person, to the security at the gate? Angels are security. Actually, the Bible calls them messengers. Yes. That's what the Bible calls them. <laughs> it calls them messengers. We are not saying they are bad. We are just saying they are inferior. Compared to the Christ. Chapter 1, verse 4. Have you become what? So much better. Not, so, not better. Oh. So much better than what? Than the angels. Wow. wow. Holy Spirit, help us today. As he has by inheritance what? A, to a what? A more excellent name than what? Than they. Than all of them. Verse 5. Verse 5. For to which of the angels did he say, did he ever say, you are my son? Today I'm, I'm recording you. And again, I will be to him a what? A father. And he shall be to you what? It's, he never said to the angel, you are my, I'll be to you a father. They are my servants. Look at what, it, look, go, go on, go on. But when he, when he again brings the firstborn to the world, after that, when he raised for the dead, he says, let all the angels do what? Worship. Let all the angels do what? Michael do what? Worship. Gabriel do what? Worship. Whoever they do what? Worshiping. Hallelujah. And of the angel, he says, he makes his angel spirit and his means are what? Flames of fire. That's all they are. Spirits and flames of fire. His messengers. 
Hallelujah. Go to verse 13. But, 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 uh, no, go to verse 8. I love this verse 8. It has brought a lot of controversy. They said, you Christians, you worship three gods. Yeah. How can you say Jesus is God? Look at what it says here. But to the son, it says, your throne what? Oh God. He called the son what? God. The same entity you are made of, you are made of. God is telling the son. If your son is not you, if he doesn't carry your DNA, he's not your son. He said, God, look at Jesus. He called him God. That is why the psalmist said, the Lord, the, the Lord said to my God. God said to my God. Sit at my right hand. God said to my God. Ha! Hey! Hallelujah! But on the side it says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. And the scepter of righteousness is the scepter what? of your kingdom. Say, so because you love righteousness and the kingdom, therefore the Lord your God has said, I will give you all the gladness above your companions. Glory be to God. Go, go, go to verse 13. Go to verse 13. But to which of the angels has he, has he ever said, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your fools too? And angel, sit, at, sit where? Sit around who? <laughs> it's the son that sits. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Look at what he described the angel. Are they not what all ministry spirit sent forth to minister for those who we hear this? They are not sent to minister to. They are sent to minister for. They are not supposed to minister to us. They are to minister for us. Father, as I'm out of the house, time because your angels are taking care of my home. As I go on this journey, angels go ahead of me. They are ministering for you. Not me. Because the quality of the life you carry by the reason of salvation is higher than what angels carry. They have never been saved. So there's no way they can minister to you. They don't have what to, they don't have what it takes to minister to you. Because they can only give what they have. What do they have they want to give to you? They can minister for you. Kai. Angels can never sing redemption song. They don't understand it. They've never been, they've never been saved. Wow. Am I shocking anybody here today? They are here to they are sent to minister for, not to. Glory be to God forevermore. Let me rush, let me rush. That's number one. Number two, Jesus is superior. This is this we are fed. This is for the Jews. Because I told you he wrote to correct the Jews. And the Jews believe in angels. Angel brought them out, but angel led them, angel parted the rest. They believe so much in angels. He said, Jesus is superior to your angel. Now, the, now, Paul now went for the biggest of them. He said, Jesus is superior to Moses. That one, they nearly died. I know a whole church set up concerning Moses. A whole church around Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not saying Moses is not great. Moses is great. He was great. Meek. Bible says. If you read about a guy, do I have time for all this this morning? If I for him to die, you know God had to beg him. God had to encourage him to die. No, no, no. God said, come, you know, God spoke to him peacefully. Look at the mountain, look at the land, where you are going, but you will not forget, you will not forget what you did to me. You know, I said you will not enter. So just, and Bible says, God just, and God buried him. God, Bible says nobody knows where he was buried. The reason being that if they knew, they would go and build religion around it. It become holy pilgrimage every year. Moses, God said no. Because the Bible said they had never seen a, a prophet like Moses. No one. By the signs and the wonders and the power, the Bible said no prophet has arisen like Moses. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. I don't want to go because of my time. Therefore, holy brethren, Partakers of the heavenly, uh, heavenly calling. Consider the what? The apostle and the high priest for a confession. Who? Christ, Christ Jesus. Who was faithful to him? Who appointed him? Right? As what? As Moses also was faithful in all his house. He said, when it comes to faithfulness, he said, Jesus and 
Moses, they are, they are good together. They are good together. He said, but, but, but Moses was faithful in the household. Hallelujah. Go on, verse 3. Go on, go on, verse 3. Why are you going back? For this one, that is Lord, what? Jesus, because it's capital one, yes. zero one. For this one has been counted, sorry, has been counted worthy of more glory than what? Than Moses. Superior to Moses. In as much as he who built what? The house has more honor than the house. He said he was faithful in the house. He said, but even the house he was faithful in, Christ built it. <laughs> Look at what he said. Go to verse 4. Go, let's read on. Verse 4. For every house is built by someone. But he who builds all things is what? Is God. Go on. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as what? As a servant. For a testimony to those things which will be spoken afterward. Verse 6. But Christ as a son over his own house. Whose house we are. If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope. Fair to the end. This one was faithful as a servant. This one was faithful as a son. Give me this, if you see this, give me this in New Living, verse 6 in New Living Translation. If you have New Living Translation, look at it. But Christ, as a son, what? Is in charge of God's entire house. This one was a servant in the house. This other one was a son in the house. Superior. Glory be to God forevermore. They also have another person they boast. They boast about Abraham. Jesus superior to Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. If you go to Hebrew chapter, chapter 8 or chapter 7, he said, you're talking about Abraham, Abraham. He said, this is your Abraham you are talking about. He said, when he met, he said, he paid tight to him. <laughs> he said, he paid tight to him. He said, that's what he said. That's what he said. Abraham took a tenth of all he captured in the battle and gave it to Mekizel. He said, Mekizel means king of justice and king of, king of silence, means king of peace. Talking about Christ, okay? Go on. No, no, there's no record of time will just go on for me to explain all these things. Superior. Hallelujah. Go to verse 6. Go to verse 6. Go to verse 6. But he whose genealogy is not derived from, from them received tithes from Abraham and bless him who had the promises. Verse 7. Verse 7. Now, beyond all contradiction, the lesser is blessed by the better. He said that Abraham, when Abraham met Melchizedek, he paid it and he blessed him. He said, is it possible for Melchizedek to bless Abraham if he wasn't better? And Jesus Christ is the high after the order of Melchizedek. Hallelujah. Better. Glory be to God forevermore. Go to the book of John. John chapter 8. John chapter 8. From verse 46 or thereabout. Uh, 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 let me try and get it. Okay, go to, jump, jump to verse eight, verse forty-eight, so I can save time. Hallelujah! <clears throat> wow, thank you, Father. No, 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 no. I many of you remember this argument? Says the time, you know, when he, uh, he that woman said go, and they started arguing about so many things. Anyway, it's a long, it's, you know. Then the Jews answered and said, hey, we do not say that legally, Samaritan, you have a demon. Jesus said, I don't have a demon. Jesus said, I do not have a demon. But I honor my father and you dishonor me. That is the problem you guys have. You don't regard me. You prefer your Abraham. You prefer this. But I honor God. Now jump to verse 54. Jump to verse 54. Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is what? Nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he what? He's your God. Go on, verse 55. Yet you have not known him. That's what you say is your God. But you don't know him. And if I say I do not know him like you, like you said, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and I keep his word. Your father, look at what it says. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and he was glad. They got angry. Then the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old. <laughs> and you have seen Abraham? Jesus answered and said, next line. And Jesus said to them, most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. (laughs) 
Another version says, before Abraham was born, I did. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Superior. Superior. Hallelujah. Amen. Kai. Shall I go? Yes. Superior. Everywhere. He said, do not begin to claim that you have Abraham as father. No. It's good for us to say, oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But in the New Testament, Paul never says such word. Paul says, calls him the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He called on the superior. You can't find Abraham, you can't never, never find Paul like that. The God of Abraham has never, you go and look at all his prayers. I beseech the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know what, you know what he's doing? If you have sons and kids and servants. You want, you want to talk to the pap father to get something, you will use the favorite son. Yeah. Hey, the father of KK. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God forever, man. Yeah. Somebody says, ah, Pastor T, it's not good. Uh, a, a, a father should not have favorite. I don't have favorite. But there are just people that by reason of you are just close to. Joshua runs his life. <laughs> he just informs me, I will go to Coventry this weekend. That's all. <laughs> you know, and then when you have children, you will understand why the guests. I don't know how God made it like that. How the guests just hold the, the, just hold the man, just twist him around their finger like this. I don't know what, I don't know how it is. Hallelujah. It is uh, everything. And then the boys and their mom. I don't know everything. You know. Joshua has been out of the house for seven days now. Left since Monday. Maybe we'll come back today. He went to Coventry, go and play with his friend. And when I, when I want to raise it, the mom, I said, why do we get a whole four bedroom? Nobody's staying there, only you staying there. We got because of this boy. And he said, don't worry, just let him go out, let him explore. But when KK wants to go to you are always going out. <laughs> and we say, let her, let her go. <laughs> let, let her. Ah! May God forgive all of us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. He is superior to Joshua. Not my Joshua. He is superior to Joshua in the Bible. You know why? That's number four. It's prayer to Joshua. Because though they loved Joshua, because Moses was the one that brought them out. But Joshua was the one that gave them the land. Yeah. Gave them the land. Yeah. But he now said something. He said Joshua did not give them rest. He gave them land. He didn't give them rest. Because the land didn't rest from war. They still had to fight. Glory be to God forever. Man. John, uh, go, go to chapter 3 verse 8. Uh, chapter 4, verse 8, sorry. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 8. Who is there? Let's rush, sorry. Chapter 4, verse 8. Maybe I'll just stop somewhere and continue. 4, four 8. Who is there? My God. The person has gone off. Okay. When, when I started joking, the person just showed that the computer I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what it says. For if Joshua had given them what? Rest. Then he would not have afterward have spoken of another day. How do you do it? That there what there what remains there for what a rest for the people of God. Verse ten, for he who has entered what his rest, Jesus rest, has himself also ceased from his own works as God did from his. Joshua did not give them rest; he only gave them land. Go to Matthew chapter eight, verse twenty-eight. Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come to me, Jesus said. All you will labor and highly be laden. I will give you what. That's why I said Joshua did not give them rest. He gave them what? Rest. And may the rest of God Amen. abide over you. Amen. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. If your life doesn't enjoy rest, you have not accepted Jesus. I pray for you today. May the rest of the Almighty God abide over your life. Amen. Abide over your, over your heart. Amen. Over your home, over your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know somebody can give you money and not give you rest? Yeah. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Oh my God. I want to speak to all men here briefly before I move on. Don't just give your wife a car or a house. Give her rest. A lot of people say, what does she want from me now? I've given her a house. I gave her this. Did you give her rest? He said, Joshua did not give them rest. He gave them land. He gave them their inheritance. He shared their inheritance for them. He didn't give them rest. Jesus, Bible said, Jesus is superior. Come to me. Labor and heaven, and I will give you what? Because the land that Joshua gave them, they had to fight to conquer it. Jesus said, Don't conquer, we'll conquer it for you, and I give it to you so you can have rest. I may the rest that Christ brought, may that rest be your portion. Nothing will stress you out, marriage will not stress you out. Career will not stress you out. Amen. Business will not stress you out. Amen. May you experience the peace and the rest of the Almighty God. Amen. Come unto me, all the labor heavenly, and I will give you what? Rest. The superiority of what? Of Christ. Amen. Glory be to God forever. Amen. More. How many can we take more? We just, we just try. Where, where, where do we stop today? Where, 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 where is that? Number four. Wow. Christ is superior. Hmm? <laughs> to all the Jewish high priests. All their high priests that they ever from Aaron to the to the last. Jesus is superior to all of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 7. Let's read from verse 23. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Let's move on to verse 23. Look at what it says here. It says, Also, there were what? Many priests. Many. Because they were, not, they were prevented by death from continuing. Say, this priest, no matter how good they were, they were dying. Kai, I would, have loved that, I would love to explain this. Because God blessed them to the degree of the goodness of the priest. The, the, the year you have a bad priest, you are finished. Wow. But when the priest is bad, they also they had their peace. He goes, soon die. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Like Nigerian leaders. <laughs> but he, look at what he said concerning Jesus Christ. But he what? Continues forever. He has what? An unchangeable priesthood. Superior. They are only they change them. This one is priesthood is unchangeable. It's forever. Glory be to God forevermore. Therefore, because his priesthood is unchangeable, he is able to save to what? To the uttermost. Those who come to God through him. See, see what? He always will lives to make intercession for them. Say amen to that. Amen. Let, let me tell you what he's trying to say. Those of you in the corporate world, banking, all those of you who understand what I'm saying. Come, let's say you are my you are my, what do you call my father? What do you call it? My godfather or godmother. <laughs> Whenever I have problem, you just, you will talk to the board. You go and talk to the board. You will come back and say, don't worry. I will fight. Others will be sacked. You will go and talk to the board. Nothing will happen to me. Others will do interview. They will not get promotion. I will do interview. I will not even, I will even talk gash there. You will go and talk to them for the board. They will give you promotion. Godfather. But one day, Godfather was traveling. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody you offended. Wow. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> That's <laughs> where you will know. <laughs> they will show you pepper. But more than pepper, they will show you albosa. <laughs> they will show you garlic. <laughs> they will show you atarodo. They will show you oil. They will show you dizu. <laughs> they will show you. Please sit down, Godfather. They will show because Godfather must die. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, so he says this priest that was praying for them, they die. Yeah. But he he forever lives forever. to make intercession for you. A day will never come that God will have something against you. Yeah. Never come. A day will never come that God will do have something against you. A day will never come that God will not favor you. A day will never come that God will say, I don't like you anymore. 
You know why? The high priest, this one, ever lives. To make intercession for you. Constant love. Constant flow. Because of the priesthood that does not change. Let's read further. Kai, this thing is sweet. Go on. Verse, verse 26. For, as such, for such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, undefined, separate from sinners, and has become higher than what? Than the heavens. Verse 27. Who does not need, look at this, who does not need daily as those high priests to offer sacrifice first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once for all when he offered up himself. Verse 28. For the Lord appoints high priests, men who have what? Weaknesses. But the word of the old, which came after the law, appoints some who has been perfected. Hallelujah! He said this high priest, they have fought. They, in fact, when they come before God, they must offer for themselves first. The first one they kill, not for themselves. Before they kill for the people. He said this one. Fortness. Perfect. Do you know why this is sweet? The same perfectness, the same thing he has conferred on you. Because God will judge you according to your high priest. So those of you that say a Christian will go to hell, Christ must go to hell first. Guys, is it not superior? Let me end on that today. Because I have three minutes left. It's a time band church or school. <laughs> Glory be to God forever, man. Yeah. Superior. I told the Old Testament everything. Do you know something? Because I don't want to go back to this. Go and do the reading for yourself later. You know what? He is superior to all the Old Testament heroes of faith. Abel, Noah, Enoch, Pastor Enoch. He is superior to all of them. That's what the Bible says. To David, to Barak, to Samson, to all the people that the Bible wrote about the heroes of faith. The Bible says he's superior to them. Go and read Hebrew chapter 11. He mentioned all these heroes of faith. The Bible says he's superior to all of them. You know why? Because when he finished chapter 11, look, look, go to chapter 11. We don't have time. Just go to the beginning of chapter 12. Let's round up on that this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy you came to church this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go, 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 go to chapter, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, therefore, we also... After he has mentioned all these heroes of faith in verse 11, in chapter 11, he said, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, he said, all these heroes of faith, they are cloud, he called it cloud of witnesses. They are like share leaders, clapping for us as we run. Okay? Let us lay aside what? Every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us. Let us run what? With endurance, the race that is set before us. Verse 2, two. looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of He said these people, they exercise faith. He said Jesus did they exercise faith. He is the author and the finisher. That is the difference between somebody who has a car and the manufacturer of the car. You are boasting a half events. What about the factory that produces the Benz? And improving the technology of the Benz. He said they had faith. Jesus is the author and the finisher. Hallelujah. He's superior to every one of them. We can copy their faith. But when you really want to have faith, it comes from Jesus. And in case there is when you are believing God for something, Hear this very well. In case you are exercising faith for something, and that and that your faith is not perfect, he will make it perfect. Amen. He will interpret your faith, your faith in the presence of God, in a perfect tense, in a perfect way. That means you are believing God for something, since I see the thing is not really there. Jesus will say, don't worry. I didn't give you a fake faith. Only that you don't know how to operate it. He will take that faith from you and operate it before Father in a satisfying manner. Wow. 
the author and the finisher. We can only learn from Abraham how to apply faith. We can learn from David. We can learn from the but they cannot perfect our faith. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Superior in every way. Are you happy you came to church this morning? I rest my case this morning. And I trust in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. The person that gave me $20. Who has, who has 100 naira here? You have 100 naira? Just shoot, give me 100 naira. Thank you. I will return it back. Who has 200 naira here? 200 naira. 500 and one 500 naira. I have 1,000. I think I should be able to provide all that here. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know whether. Okay. I think I have. Five, okay, I have 500 here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have 1,000 here. Are you hearing me? I want to ask you, brothers and sisters, is there anything wrong with this? No. Give me your 200. Thank you. Is there anything wrong with this? No. Is there anything wrong with this? No. Is there anything wrong with 1,000? No. But <laughs> is there anything wrong with this also? <laughs> Nothing. But they are all made of papers. They are all entities. But when you want to choose, I, you, you don't need prayer. You don't say, let me go and fast. You just go. Are you hearing me? You choose this. Not because this one don't have value. Not because they cannot buy something. But in the face of this, he's better. He's superior. He might even look smaller than them in size but he's superior. Christ may not be so glorious, may not be everything, but he's superior. When you are making your next choice, choose wisely. I recommend Christ the superior. God bless. Hallelujah. Woo. So, I can't, I remember, I collected 100 naira from you, I remember. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for we have a superior and a better savior. Our confidence in you has been boosted. We won't trade you for nobody else. Thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, let knowledge go deep in us. Better, bigger. In the name of Jesus. We we'll glorify your holy name. We we'll bless you, Father, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> if Jesus, please sit down. If Jesus was superior to all these entities, then where does uh, Buddha appear? Where does Muhammad appear? Men who marry. Who marry several wives. Buddha. Where do they appear from? What's no one belief? I told you the purpose of this is not to condemn, it's to show you the superiority. Glory be to God forever. Father, we give you praise. For the people of God to enter Step out of the nest Spread your wings and soar Surrender Fall to Jesus Fall fully in love Fall to Jesus Christ Going up, going up Higher, higher Reaching up, reaching up Father, Father to know Till we reach the apex. Epignosis. Concise knowledge.